Good evening. It continues to be a dangerous week for those on two wheels in the area as four major crashes have happened since Friday evening, leading to two deaths. We learned today authorities say DUI charges are expected to be filed in last night's crash that left the 31 year old motorcycle rider dead in West Fargo. North Dakota Highway Patrol says 28 year old LaCoya Saldana was speeding and driving under the influence when she T-boned Tommy Fredette at the intersection of Main Avenue and 17th Street East around 9 last night. Fredette was pronounced dead at a local hospital. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Bailey Hurley spoke with the family today as well as fellow motorcycle riders who say Fredette's death has left them speechless. Tommy Fredette and his beloved bike went on their first ride of the season just four days ago, not knowing it would also be one of their last. And that's all he would talk about. I cannot get out, wait to get out and ride. He just had the itch to finally get out and do it. The Fredette brothers say their cousin was the guy you wanted to have in your corner, the life of the party and a best friend to anyone. It's hard to believe that something so tragic would happen to someone that has done nothing but good. They say Tommy was a brother, an uncle, and the most avid Vikings fan you'll find. He was also a veteran of the U.S. Marine Corps who served six years in several countries. There's no words to describe how good he was, you know, to not only the family and, and to everybody, his work, his job, and, you know, being a great uncle and a brother and, um, uh, it's just you could always rely on them. They say his passion for motorcycles also translated to rider safety, something he posted about on Facebook just minutes before Wednesday night's fatal crash. It's just a, a complete irony about watching out for motorcycles and, and then we wake up to this and it's uh, it's just unbelievable that uh, this happened. Riders across the metro are hoping Tommy's words stick, emphasizing to drivers to pay attention as well as to look both ways and then look again. We're, we're never seen. We have to assume that, and this is the, the truth of it really, when, every time we leave the house, we have to assume that everyone is out to kill us. It's terrible. As cliche as it is, the Fredettes say Tommy was someone who would give the shirt off his back. And they hope, whether you knew him or not, you'd try to be a little bit more like Tommy going forward. I mean, the world would be a better place. Bailey Hurley, Valley News Live. Saldana now faces four misdemeanor charges, including a DUI, reckless driving, and two counts of driving under suspension. A warrant is out for her arrest. New tonight after a deadly 